So the secret of waking up from the drama, the endless cycles, is the realization that the only time that there is, is the present. Well, good day, you two. Through the rush of life, I made it up back up to Tina just to see how she was doing. Actually, I got a phone call saying she was sitting a little low in the water and the bilge pump quit. So I come up here. I had another one in the lazarette and changed it out. But uh, with that said, been really, really busy trying to move to South Texas. With that said, I'm on Tina. She's looking good. Uh, and it's quite an emotional thing when you uh, get on a boat. But here's a project I got for her. You see this floor? Somebody glued carpet down on this beautiful teak floor. And if anybody's got suggestions on how to get this glue off the teak and off the fiberglass, please leave a comment down below. With that said, that's the main thing I got to do. Other than that, I'm going to change that stove out. And uh, we're going to scrub her down and paint her, make her look pretty. With that project aside, I laid down that night, listened to a billage pump run, and then it run again. So I started digging around the boat and found a broken gate valve. We had a bunch of freezing weather, and that's probably what broke the gate valve. With it leaking the water in, the billage pump was running and running and running, and that's probably the reason why the previous one went out. So, this is where I found my leak. I ended up taking, you can see there's some duct tape, a piece of wood, and a hose clamp to plug the hole off temporarily. I got some of this. this stuff I'm gonna go get a wire brush today I'm gonna wire brush her down and cap it off with some epoxy till I can get her out of the water but this was practically a free boat so had to have some work done this is all there is to it We are on our maiden voyage. Not a voyage I wanted to do. Kind of sucks, honestly. I don't know nothing about this boat and I hope it makes it there. Anyways, with that said, here's a look. Lake Texoma. Lake Texoma, guys. That's where I came from, and she won't stay where I want her to be. All right, y'all, sorry for the bad video quality, but uh, that is Cedar Creek Mills where Valiant Yachts is made. Uh, they were nice enough to call somebody down on a Monday to come haul this thing out, so I ain't gotta worry about it sinking. I do have the problem fixed, but I don't know how long. It's just a temporary fix. I need to get it out of the water. And uh, so, anyways, Maiden Boys went okay. Navigated the uh, shallow waters. And uh, she seems to be doing fine. My oil pressure hasn't dropped. My temperature come up to normal. And uh, yeah, a few weird noises, but you know, the boat hasn't gone anywhere in probably 10 years. The first time this boat's moved in 10 years. I do got to hold my hand on the throttle, though. But, uh, Sailing Dutchman signing off. I'll have video when I holler out. Talk to y'all later. Thank you to my subscribers. Subscribers. <laughs> it's colder than... Yeah, it's cold out here today. Anyways... Later, y'all. Cedar Mills Marina. January 
Now, after a nervous trip across the lake, navigating around the sandbar that's in the middle of that lake, I'm pulling into the marina here. He's wanting me to back the boat into the lift. Now, this is the first time I've ever driven this boat, sailed this boat, whatever you want to call it. But in the end, I got her in there without a hitch, and he really didn't believe me that uh, this was my first time doing anything of this sort. God, she is dirty.
you very much. In our upcoming videos, you'll see us load the boat on the trailer. That was a chore in itself. I built that trailer in about 10 days and then hauled it up there to get the boat out of the yard so they didn't charge me. They were nice enough to give me another week. Normally, they only let you have seven days for free, but they gave me two weeks to build a trailer and get it out of there. Not only that, you'll see us haul the boat home. These guys here is John, Mike, and Lawrence. The guy on the right is the one that gave me the boat. This is the boat sitting in Lawrence's front yard waiting for me to take her home. Of course, I had more straps on her. That's my stepson, Tyler, and his granddaddy, Mike. Great help. Couldn't have done it without him. There's Lawrence again. This is when I picked up the boat and decided to bring the boat home. And let me tell you what, I had a lot of work ahead of me had to uh, do some supporting on the trailer and not only that supported the axles which ended up failing I ended up blowing tires out I went through six tires trying to get this boat home so I ended up building new axles as you can see here with a whole new carrier system to weld on the trailer in the meantime while all this was happening I was also dealing with a flood and not just once, but my house flooded twice. And uh, this was the worst of it here. Uh, I lost pretty much every tool in my garage, all my lawnmowers, weed eaters, and all that. And there's a glimpse to see what's happening. We got big things coming, and I do have some sad news to announce in my next video. So thank you, like, and subscribe.